Good morning, everyone. XA Group Test 23 here, and I'm back with another video. All right, guys, you guys know we have just 93 days left before we travel back to the Philippines. But in case you guys know, the IATF has dropped the e arrival and they now have replaced it with the e travel. And uh, if you guys know, uh, a lot of people have been, been, uh, been confused on uh, should they. Uh, use the e-rival or should they use the e-travel and uh, this is just to say for all those foreigners who has registered for the e-arrival I just say just in case um, um, Hold on to it because like there's a possibility they might ask for that While you are in the Philippines and also you should also register for the e-travel because like I said There's a possibility that they may ask you for that even though it takes place It's in place right now for December 1st because like I said, there's a possibility that they might ask for it. But like I said, man, um, make sure you guys register. Because um, now, because from what I see, that the site is, has been on and off. So like I said, make sure you guys register now so you can get your Q and I code when you go in there. Because like I said, um, most of the flights are going into uh, NAIA on Terminal 1. And Terminal 1 is going to be busy as hell. Because like I said, it's the holiday season. It's the holiday season, uh, especially for Christmas time. And uh, like I said, they're going to be packed. So that's why I'm trying to say that you you do the uh, the e-travel or the e-arrival online, not in the airport. Because like I said, you're going to be sitting there for like hours. You know what I mean? So that's why it's best to do it 72 hours before your departure. And uh, like I said, for example, if you are departure on, I'm still making an example on Monday, you're supposed to do it on Friday. So that's three days prior. So that you can get your Q&R call. And like I said, when you get into uh, immigration, all you have to do is just show you your, 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 uh, your Q&R code and, and, your, and your passport. And you just go on from there. And then you go in and you have fun. But yeah, guys, uh, this is the, uh, the new uh, procedure uh, going into the Philippines. Like I said, there is no more e-arrival. It's now e-travel. Like I said, it's... Like I said, it's just the same thing. All the only major difference is that you need a valid email address. That's basically it because I went through it, and uh, like I said, it's just straightforward, just like e travel. You know what I mean? So, but yeah, man. Uh, going forward, e travel is the new requirement to enter the Philippines. Um, uh, like I said, I hope that it stays in place because we know that the Philippines has this whole tendency to always uh keep changing it does get kind of annoying after a while just like i said just stay with this so people can get used to it and then like i said uh it'll be easier for people to uh travel into this country but yeah guys uh the e-travel is the new requirement to enter the philippines starting today um i hope you guys all have a good uh, uh a good trip coming here and i hope you guys have a good holiday and like i said before guys we are just 93 days left before we travel back to the philippines Stay tuned. More is coming. Peace and love, everybody. I'm out.